Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. For this sunrise service this morning, we will pray, we will offer a litany, and we will offer a time for you to go off and quietly meditate while you contemplate the Gospel of Mark. Let us pray. Glory to you, O God. You have won victory over death, raising Jesus from the grave and giving us eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ. For us and for our salvation, you overcame death and opened the gate to everlasting life. Glory to you, O Holy Spirit. You lead us into the truth. Glory to you, O blessed Trinity, now and forever. Amen. In our litany for Easter, I encourage you to respond, Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. This is the good news which we have received, in which we stand and by which we are saved. Alleluia, the Lord has risen indeed. That Christ died for our sins and was buried and rose again on the third day. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. He appeared to Peter and to the 12 and to many faithful witnesses. Alleluia, the Lord has risen indeed. At last he came to us that we might come to believe and proclaim this good news to the world. Alleluia, the Lord has risen indeed. O oh God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may live with him in the joy of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. Let us enter into this time of confession and pardon. The Spirit of God helps us in our weakness, interceding with sighs too deep for words, trusting in God's grace. Let us confess our sin. Almighty God, in raising Jesus from the grave, you shattered the power of sin and death. We confess that we remain captive to doubt and fear, bound by the ways that lead to death. We overlook the poor and the hungry and pass by those who mourn. We are deaf to the cries of the oppressed and indifferent to calls for peace. We despise the weak and abuse the earth you made. Forgive us, God of mercy. Help us to trust your power, to change our lives and make us new, that we may know the joy of life abundant given in Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Amen. Hear the good news of God's promise. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amen. As we turn to the scriptures, let us read this prayer, a prayer asking us to focus our hearts and minds on the scripture in a way that would allow us to hear God's message read and received as if the first time we have heard it. We pray. Living God, 
With joy we celebrate the presence of your risen word. Enliven our hearts by your Holy Spirit that we may proclaim the good news of eternal and abundant life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading for this sunrise service comes from Mark chapter 16. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, this is the place where they laid him. But go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. And all that had been commanded them and told briefly to those around Peter, and afterward, Jesus himself sent out through them from east to west the sacred and imperishable proclamation of eternal salvation. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. What an interesting reading from the Gospel of Mark. The very first ending of the gospel ends with the women just running from the tomb, afraid, afraid to tell anyone. This morning, as we depart in silence to watch the sun rise and to contemplate the birth of another day, the birth of a beautiful day of resurrection, let us also contemplate what would have happened had those women truly in fear, never told anyone. Now go, go out in the peace of God, in the love of Jesus Christ, and with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.